Okay, welcome back to my Metal Gear Solid Let's Play. This is part two. Uh, when we last left off in part one, uh, I believe we had to go and find Kenneth Baker to basically get, basically to get some coal to stop the to stop Foxhound from launching the nuke. Uh, and we were told he's on the second floor basement. Um, second floor basement and that they painted over the walls so we need to find the walls which are hidden or the room which is hidden behind the walls probably the most confusing way that anyone could ever explain your objective but here we go If I remember right, there is trap doors as well, which you can kind of see there, sort of. I'm pretty sure it's there. Let's see. Yeah, so I'll have to be careful of that. Let's see which ones. And I, I also know that that is the wall that we have to break through, just from memory. Um, but I don't think we have any C4 yet, so we have to find C4, which. Wow. Oh, there we go, C4. I didn't actually plan that one. And if I remember right again, I am pretty sure that there's lasers in here. It's a freaking laser beam. Which is why the SIGs come in handy, but there is clearly no lasers anyway. I'm dead, like, frightened because I feel like it's a trap. It's a trap. Nope, that went fine. That's definitely one thing that is better about um, Metal Gear Solid 2 and onwards is that you don't have to actually equip your, your, car, your door card to get through the doors. Because I bet you loads of times I'll do that during this playthrough. I'll just go to walk through doors and they won't open because I haven't got the card equipped. <laughs> I'm dead frightened of walking into rooms because I just feel like there's going to be like lasers or bombs or something like that. Level one, grenade. <laughs> My heart goes every time. Right now we're equipped for battle. Another little way you could find out as well, if you were unsure, you could always knock on the wall like this. And it sounds a lot more like echoey. pro tip for everyone so pretty sure most people will know that anyway now how do you place it again square to set circle to detonate set and as we know cool guys don't look at explosions an unwritten rule Another wall just there. C4. Wall set. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. As we know, Snake is a cool guy. Oh, there's another one as well. Is there anything down here we can continue on? Good job I didn't waste those C4, because God knows how I would get through the walls if it did. Set. Kaboom. Oh, as if I've done that. Let's keep that equipped. Let's do this. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Keeps talking about and you. 
Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Arm. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me the Revolver. Draw! Here we go, Revolver Ocelot. Easily one of my favourite characters in the entire series. An absolute badass. I don't know what it is about the sound that Baker makes either. It's just, what is that meant to be? <laughs> I probably, that's probably going to distract you now that I've said that, but. Get back here, Ocelot! Right, try it this way. Oh! I love the reload. Damn it! I think that's probably the best time to get him, judging by it when he's reloading. But for some reason, he's got like skills off wanted and can shoot off walls. I mean, I suppose that's very grounded in comparison to some of the abilities that other characters have throughout the franchise, like, say, Vamp or uh, The Pain or, you know, anyone like that. You better hurry up! Come on, he's reloading, now's my chance. Oh, no! I don't really know what, if there's any other way to get rations here. So me blowing myself up before is really... Uh, Really knacking me up with this boss but battle. You be the smell of your own death. Oh, get up, snake! There we go. Now's our chance. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to run into them. That'll be a quick end to the battle. Stop running! Oh, <laughs> my. I know on the twin snakes and all that gets a lot of uh, criticism, but I, on this boss battle it certainly does make it too easy because you can just aim in first person and shoot him. So I suppose on the on this version of the game it is a bit more fun to play. But I'm at a very uh, difficult position now with no rations. I've five bullets. I've definitely not been efficient. See to make him miss his last three shots. Oh my god. Come on, shoot your last one, you nuggets. Oh. I don't think that's going to be a good idea because it probably blow up the explosives, but hey ho! I can't really argue with that either because I, I knew that was going to happen when I threw it. Well, not new, but I was almost certain. Ah, at least this time I get my rations back. I might try and, try and save in the ammo as well, be a bit more efficient this time. Set. Yes. Yes. Skip this, we've already seen it. Let's go. Hiding won't help you. I understand the bullets you see. I make them go where I want. Try and 
try and time his shots. Put some run during a battle as well. Can't catch it. Oh no, how did I miss all them? Don't you want to settle this? <laughs> yeah, if you have to like a serious gameplay where I show you how to play the game best, it's it's not gonna happen. You're just gonna get a pretty much um Oh what, what's the what's the phrase? You're gonna just get me winging it. But if you enjoy that, then keep watching. It's a win win. This is arguably going worse than the first time. I can't even. Oh my. There we go. Right. Surely. Come on, this is it. He's still reloading. Now we're cooking on gas. Oh, get away! Oh, go on, keep running. That kind of helps me out. Oh, no, he sort of <laughs> mugged me off then. Oh, I'm gonna need the bullets. Come on, we got this now. A couple more. Oh, chase him. Reloading's getting faster as well. Right. Oh, I was gonna say keep dodging. That'll do. Uh, I'm almost right. Come on, he should stop to shoot me. And this is this is the chance. So as long as he keeps doing that and wasting them, uh, wasting them bullets, that's fine by me. Oh, there we go, last one. Try and cut him off while he's reloading. Oh, how have I missed? Oh, I got him then. Have it! Cyborg Ninja, another quality character talk? with who deserved more screen time in the them, bigger man. games. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. 
I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. <laughs> you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? Uh, it can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A Crazy bull. Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No. Not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No. That woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier? It must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Coincidental. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Several pounds of what? It stands for material unaccounted for. Ah, oh, good job. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Well, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. 
to maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect of a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no! Oh, no, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... Listening. Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Health increase, level 2 card. Let's go. Girdle! I love David Hater. He's just unmatched. Totally unmatched. That's where we came from. Is he a door here? I don't think we can go through that one. I think I'm right. Oh yeah, level 4. I feel like I heard a camera then as well. 
Oh, I forgot there's another wall there. Let's see what goodies we can get from in here. As Always handy. Do you know what? I've never thought to come back to this area when you have to do some like backtracking later on with high level cards. I'm gonna come back to here and see what's in those other doors. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. There we go. Do you know what? I, I, the amount of times I've played this game and I always forget about that bit there. There's countless easter eggs and secrets in the Metal Gear Solid games though, so there's loads to come back and play, but... Uh, level 1, in here... It's already open... Come on, it's just level... I think this is level... This one came before, level... Oh no, look, FAMAS! Uh, laser beams... Oh, here is where said six come in handy. Oh, one thing that I need to do is call Meryl then, I think. Now, I do actually have... You, you can get it on the internet now, but I remember at the time, the only way to get a frequency was from the back of the game case. Because it says a frequency on the cover. And at the time, that was like a really cool feature, I remember, because it... Not many... Well, I don't think any that I can remember from the time did sort of... There's fourth wall breaking, but like I, can't, I don't really know how to explain it, but did things like that. So I've got the frequency, I've got the game case in front of me. Let's give it a tinkle. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. And just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes. He's not it again. They're not soldiers' eyes. Oh, let him off. They're rookies' eyes, right? No, they're beautiful. Oh no, he is at it again. Oh, just what I'd Absolute expect from charmer. a legendary solid snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay, you see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces Colonel. were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? 
I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. <sighs> Sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry. I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, oh. you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that Something's I heard going of. on. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to say that, then. But I have no that idea was a coincidence. What? Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. Badass. Way to get to the building where the doctor is being held. There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. Snake's laughing we'll seems after I grab the doctor, so black. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So, she said, I can't even remember what she said. She said, cargo, basement, B2, blah, blah, blah. Loads of techno military. Oh, forgot about that. Loads of military techno warhead jargon. All I know is this is the way I've got to go and she'll open the door. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was close. Oh. Ah. Don't come this way. Damn it. Please carry on going. Don't turn around. I 
think upstairs in this room now, the tank hangar, I'm pretty sure you can get the suppressor for the SOCOM. And... Oh, hang on. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Well, I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. This is I not the time to prove yourself, yourself, woman. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. God damn it. Yeah, as I was saying, sorry, uh, I think on the second floor of this room, there is the SOCOM suppressor. Although, for anyone who had a keen eye, in the cutscene after we defeated Ocelot, it did actually show the suppressor on the gun. Even though we, uh, we don't have it yet. I think any- oh no, she's opened the door and she was going to say we have to wait for it to open the door, but surely done it. Oh, cardboard box. We're living in a box, baby. But we're living in a cardboard box. Two helipads. Yeah, I think um, you can use them in like on like when you get on a truck or something like that. And then if you've got whichever box you've got, it'll take you. So this one will take you to the heliport, which is back at the beginning. But I don't really have a reason to go back there, so it's handy if I need to hide though. The second floor. Oh, there is. A, oh, that's. I don't really know how I'm gonna get past that person though. That ladder there as well. That just leads back to the helipad from the beginning, where I said there's like two ways in in the last episode. I think the only thing I can hope for is if he carries on going that way, and then I can run to that door. Right, he looks like he's turned around. Oh, no, he's... Oh, that's a lot. I can't even get... I need to get to that one as well. Thinking about it, I don't actually think this is where you get the SOCOM suppressor, because I think I've already come up here, and I've got what was in there, which was the thermal... Oh, no, I haven't got what was in there. Thermal goggles are in there. Go, go, go. Oh no, mine detector. I don't know what I'm on about. Why I'm on about thermal goggles. Clearly wrong. But that definitely comes in handy anyway. I am risking it. Oh no! The footsteps! Ah, sh sugar. Time to even the odds. What's that say? Hold, press to fire, hold down, full auto. I'm surprised no one else came after me then. We managed to get away with that. Forgot about the sounds on the floor. Okay, so we got down here, we gotta meet up with Meryl. Oh, do we have to meet up? Oh, don't I don't know. I can't remember. A lot goes on in the cutscenes. Nice and easy, he's just there. Ah, uh, that's that's where you get the thermal goggles. May as well get them now while I'm here. I knew, I knew there was, it was either upstairs or downstairs. Oh, that's not good. Don't turn around, don't turn around. 
Hopefully this works. I'm risking it again, here we go. Oh, I'm gone. Here we go. Oh, come on, he didn't know. Oh, no. Famous. Oh, no! The bloody key card, that's exactly what I was just saying. Come on, door shut, door shut, and then... Please work. Oh, no! Hello! Oh, this... This is about to be a game over. Apologies. Get up, snake! Get up, snake! Get your gun out! Oh! Fire! Run. Key card. Ah! Oh, I've got to be off alert. Right, random cardboard box. Just hope for the best. That fam ass ammo could have probably come in handy a bit later on, but. Improvise, adapt, overcome. I'll use the six to unfortunately lower my life more than it already is with no I'm sure I was gonna say you get a call now anyway about the, the freaking laser beams. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. There we go. It's a lot easier with the thermal goggles because they're a lot more visible, but... Gotta make do. Oh, that was close. Right, guys. I think I'm going to leave it there for the next video. Uh, if you did like... Uh, sorry, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.